Hello friends, in this tutorial video, I would like to demonstrate the application of a reference option in rotate as well as in scale commands in AutoCAD. I'll start with rotate command. Let's take for example, I would like to make this particular dining table perfectly vertical. So I'll start with rotate command and I'll select this object. Now I'm asked to select the base point. I would like to keep this as a base point and I'll give an angle of 90 degree. Now you can see that this dining table is rotated through an angle of 90 degree from its previous position. But my requirement is to make it perfectly vertical. That means it should make an angle of 90 degree with respect to the positive x axis. So I'll undo the changes I have done. Now it has come back to the previous position. Now let's try rotate again. I'll select the object. Now I'll give the base point. Next, I'll go to the reference option. When you click on reference option, it will ask you for the reference angle. Reference angle is nothing but the existing orientation or the existing inclination of the object with respect to the positive x axis. I don't know the existing inclination of this object. So you have two options. You can either measure this inclination or else you can pick a point over here and the second point over here and the inclination of the line joining these two points will be automatically calculated by the software as the reference angle. Now it will ask you for the new angle. The new angle is nothing but the required rotation angle with respect to the positive x axis and that is nothing but 90 degree. Now the table is perfectly vertical. Hence the reference angle should always be the existing inclination of the object and after specifying the reference angle if you provide a new angle, the rotation angle will be taken with respect to the post x axis. Next, we will see the application of reference option in the scale command. I would like to insert a front door in this position. For that, I'll click on the insert tab and I'll select this door D2 from the blocks palette. When you look at the preview, you can see that you have to change the rotation angle. So I'll click on rotate and I'll give a rotation angle of 90 degree. Now you can see the rotated preview. Now I'll choose the base point over here and insert. Now you have to resize this door using the scale command in such a way that it fits perfectly within this door opening. So I'll click on the home tab and I'll choose scale, select this door and I'll choose this as a base point and I'll go to reference option. Now it'll ask you for a reference length. Reference length is nothing but the actual length of the door. So I'll select from this point to this point. Now it'll ask you for the new length. New length is the required length. So you can just pick a point over here. You need to pick only a single point when you're asked for the new length. Just make a pick there. Now you can see that AutoCAD has automatically resized it in such a way that it fits perfectly within the door opening. Hence by using the reference option of scale command, you can scale an object by using certain existing points as references. I hope it's clear from the demonstration. Thank you so much for your time. Please do subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed already and hit the like button of this video if you like this simple tip which can save your time and effort. Until I catch you in the next video with another interesting topic, bye bye and take care. May God bless you all.